think I became chair, but thank you. Um, you know, uh, we, uh, this is our second uh, safety hearing of the year uh, leading up to reauthorization. Uh, and, uh, you know, the first hearing we heard uh, testimony about uh, highway fatalities, 100 people die in, uh, every day in motor vehicle accidents. That's a life every 15 minutes. Uh, 37,133 in 2017, and we need uh, to uh, look at ways to uh, reduce uh, those fatalities. Obviously, we're doing uh, a lot better uh, with uh, the uh, transportation of our precious kids uh, on their way uh, to and from school on school buses, but it's not perfect. Uh, we will hear some uh, conflicting testimony today, and I, and I would hope that uh, uh, members uh, of the panel might depart from their prepared remarks and respond to uh, someone who goes earlier. For instance, uh, uh, Mr. Benish from the N NSTA is going to come out uh, quite strongly against any uh, federal mandate on uh, school buses uh, uh, for uh, uh, seat belts. Uh, and yet uh, the NTSB is going to talk about what they see as a, uh, and have felt for some time, a need for lap and shoulder, and um, then we're going to hear from Chief Fulton about how New Jersey is doing what others say is not possible because of seat configuration, size of children, and that. And uh, th that'll be a, an interesting contrast. I think there's much more substantial agreement on, uh, you know, finding ways to better identify the bad apples uh, out there. Uh, those who have had poor driving records, those who've had. Uh, significant health issues and, and other things. Uh, there have been states that have moved forward with much more prompt notification. Uh, New Jersey, I think, is on a daily basis, any violations uh, by school bus drivers. Uh, and so uh, looking at the, uh, you know, the national CDL registry and other things uh, that the federal government does control, uh, you know, might uh, provide some benefit uh, in those areas. So, uh, you know, I look forward uh, to the testimony and uh, this will help instruct us uh, on whether or not we need to include uh, any new uh, uh, provisions in the Service Transportation Reauthorization, which I expect to have done uh, hopefully uh, by early next year. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. Uh, 